We've dropped in to see James from Patent Fasteners. We've actually been here before, but it's a great success story, not only Patent Fasteners, but for Citizen. What I want to do, first of all, is, well, we've got some components out here. I want to do a very brief, and I say brief, James, potted history of Patent Fasteners. So 1981? Yeah, 1981 the company started, uh, and we took it over around three years ago. Okay. Now, the old owner's still sort of involved because we just had to throw him out. He's supposed to be going abroad. He's cancelled three flights already. Still working hard here. Yeah, he still supports us. Yeah, he's doing some subcontracting, so very useful guy. Okay, so part of him, I mean, just here, these are on the old machines. I'd like to just showcase what, yeah. the, what you're actually doing here. Yeah, so our, our legacy business is um, you know, machining forged parts. Yeah. So uh, here's an example of a forged fastener, a blank. We machine it on a, an old plug board lathe, which is manually loaded. Then we do thread rolling, knurling, that type of thing. So they're all separate processes, yep. still doing it um, and still serving our customers with that old kit. And that, I mean, some of them date back to the 40s. Yes, absolutely. We've got some very old kit, but it's very good at what it does. And, um, we, you know, we just leave it that way. Yeah. And that's just a bit of background because we're here on behalf of Citizen. Now, you've got some great Citizen machines. You started buying them for the company secondhand about three years ago. Yep. First part I want to look at is, this is done on your old L20, he says confidently? Yeah, it's uh, an engineering stud, so we still use the old L520, very good machine, serves us well for certain jobs. Uh, so we would turn this part and then thread roll it afterwards. Nice and simple. Now I'm going to pop that down. Okay. I'm going to feed you with these parts, a bit like yeah. a sliding head almost. Now this one, the old L32? Yeah, that machine's 23 years old, uh, but again, you know, good example of a job that we would run on there. Uh, very good machine, very reliable for its age, you know, we continue to use it daily. Okay. Now, I'm looking at the cold forge parts here yeah. and thinking, why wouldn't you do that? But it's more, because the, there's a lot of material removal there. Yeah, for, for this job there is, yeah. Uh, I mean, the cold form parts are often called for on drawings for grain flow reasons, materials, etc. So, again, we keep that part of the business for those reasons. But, um, yeah, the L32, this is perfect for it, works very well. And you know you can run it 24-7 essentially? Yeah, you can run it overnight and um, you know it's great when you get the production the following morning. So you've got, you've got those, we mentioned the old Citizen, I'm going to take that off you. Okay. You invested about 12 months ago in the Citizen L20 LFE. Yeah, that's right. And this is a great example of what you're making there. Yeah, so this is a 50,000 part run, uh, this brass part. Very fast machine needed for that type of quantity. Uh, it's doing about 20 second cycle time uh, and very productive with the material being brass. We can run it over the weekend and uh, you know, it's still running Monday morning, so that's Brilliant. very, very nice. Absolutely perfect. And just talk us through what you're actually doing on here. Uh, so turning from round bar, drilling on the front, uh, milling the square, cross drilling, and then on the back we're doing some drilling and threading as well. Okay, fantastic. Now, as I said, I'm going to take that off you. We've mentioned, we've got some old Citizen machines, the, the newer one which you just bought last year, the L20 LFE, but this is your latest acquisition, the L32. This is what they make on it. We'll come to that in a minute, but why have you bought it? Uh, well, we felt we needed to expand our capacity on the larger size parts, so up to 32 mil. Uh, the machine's more reliable than the older machinery. It tends to run for longer. The, the LFV helps with that. You don't get the birds nesting, that type of thing. Uh, so it's given us strength in an area where we were a little bit weak in the past. Okay. Now this part here, just quickly talk us through it. Now I'm thinking that's not 32 mil though. So that, if you just talk me through that one. Yeah, so this part really is a stainless steel 316. It's not 32 mil, but um, you know the machine's very good for it. You know, bit of turning, bit of grooving, uh, some drilling work. We're doing reaming as well to hold a tight tolerance on the bore. Uh, you know, and the machine's very quick at doing the job too. So you know that makes it a good machine for the job really. Okay, and not really a complex part, but the fact you've got the tolerances down the bore, for example. Yeah, very tight. So you need a machine that's uh, you know very well aligned, and um, we've got that here. Yeah. Okay. Now, we mentioned the fact that this is L32, but you can go guide bushless as well? Yes, you can. Uh, we're doing that on the L20 actually at the moment. Saves you some material, so on a job that's 50,000 parts, you can, you can save quite a lot of material uh, with the short remnants that you get using the machine that way. Okay. Now, the machine itself, what have you got going on in the envelope here? Uh, so, we've got a uh, number of driven tools, number of turning tools, uh, driven tools on the front, driven tools on the back. B-axis as well? Yes, B-axis, uh, manual B-axis. So we're able to drill on the front, which frees up the sub-spindle for doing back working uh, whilst you're, you're drilling the front of the part, for example. Now, one thing you have mentioned off camera, what's one, one I'm sort of pointing at it here, one thing you really like about this, well, you like a lot of things, but one thing you absolutely love, the door. <laughs> this is the best thing ever done. 
to, to these machines. I, Why? I actually like it on all the other machines because it makes it so accessible, you know, rather than the two sliding doors and, you know, I'm not the slimmest of chaps and, you know, trying to squeeze through the door. This is fantastic. Love it. So the other, again, just to reiterate, the other machines you've got, the L20s, L32s, all great machines, but the door's not quite so big. Yes, not so big, yeah. yeah. And control-wise, I mean, the machine is so new, you've still got the plastic sheet on the screen, but Mitsubishi? Yeah, Mitsubishi Control, uh, you know, additional functionality. But what I will say is that it's not lost the uh, familiarisation that the old machines have. So you can take an operator from a machine that's 20 years old, and I would say really within a few minutes, you'd be familiar with the, the screens on this machine. So that's very, very good. Okay. What about then actually using the LFE in terms of controls? Is that, is that easy? Because that's obviously, well, 12 months ago, it's a new process to you. Um, fairly straightforward, really. You just set a G-code number of variables, uh, switch it on, switch it off. Uh, it's quite easy to use, you, you know, you, you've just got to set the, the numbers to match the material that you're cutting to get the material to chip. And um, that takes a little bit of experience, but you know, we seem to have got that now. And I'm assuming then, straight on the phone to Citizen, they're, they're good in, in terms of support, sales, service and support? Yeah, very good, very satisfied with that, excellent support overall. Brilliant, that's a great example. And I suppose one other question then, been going since 1981, are you actually get, you're getting business back from overseas now as well? Yes, I'd say to a degree, we're starting to see some of the medium volume runs coming back in our direction. Certainly the inquiries are going up as well in that area, I would say. All with the help of the Citizen Machines? Yes, absolutely. Okay, James, thank you very much. A great endorsement of Citizen Machines and Manufacturing UK. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.